Hello. For today, I'm going to be teaching how to do kumahimo braiding. Kumahimo first began with the samurai in Japan, and they would use kumahimo to lace up their lamellar armor. Now, kumahimo, it's a form of finger loop braiding. And here's an example. For today, in modern society, you can use kumahimo for necklaces, friendship bracelets, you name it. Um, this one I made long enough to make as a necklace to wear a medallion around my neck. Now, to get started, first you'll need a disc of some sort. You can go for something simple like this, which you can find at your local craft store, or you can go the more expensive route and get a wooden form. And on the wooden form, that's more historically accurate, but for today's class, I'm just going to be using this foam disc. Now your other option, you can use, these are paper bobbins, which do work, but they tend to break apart very easily. And you can also run into this problem. If you can see, they're all knotted together and it becomes a mess. So aside from the foam disc, Another thing I would recommend would be these bobbins. Let me zoom in there. And this will help with your threads not getting tangled up with each other. Now, as far as threading, I like to use a thin yarn, but that's up to you with what you would like to do your braiding with. Oh, and I just remembered, one other thing you'll want besides your foam disc or a wooden stand and your bobbins and your thread. But the other thing you'll want is something at the bottom of your braid that's a counterweight. For this, I, again, going with the inexpensive route, I'm just using a simple paper clip. Ta-da! Now, depending on if you want to make a friendship bracelet or if you'll be making a necklace, will then determine how long you want your thread. To make it very easy, I just like to pull one end, hold it in my finger, and if I'm doing a bracelet, I will go fingertip, hold out my arm, and then just go to my shoulder, and then this is where I would cut. If I want to do a necklace, I would do the same thing, hold out the one end, hold out my arm straight, but instead I would continue unraveling this, and go to the other end, keep my arms straight, and then that gives me approximately how long I want my thread. And for today's class, I'm going to be teaching how to do a spiral braid. So you would need eight strands. So you can choose if you want to do just two simple colors, like red and black, black and white, you name it with whatever color coordination you want to do. But you would need, if you're doing two colors, you would need for example, four red and four white. If you want to do three colors, then I would suggest doing four strands of one color and then two strands of your second color and two strands of your third color. Well, let's get started. Okay, now for this one, I've decided to do three colors. I've got black, red, and white. And I've done two black up here, two black down here, and then I've alternated red up here and red down here and then white and white. So red and white and then white and red. And then like I said, I've got two black up here, two black up there. So I've got eight strands. And this one I've already started. I've What you want to do at the very beginning, once you pick out your colors, is you want to give yourself a couple of inches of thread. And then you want to put your knot in the thread. If you want to do two knots, that's fine. And once you do that, you want to put your weight on your thread, put that in the center, and then stretch out your strings so that they go top, bottom, and then side, side. So it's set up just like this. And then you'll have the rest of your threads all hanging off the sides here. And you'll just want to wrap up your threads into the bobbin that you're using. 
And once you've got it set up, you'll start off with the top right going down and then the bottom left going up. Now it's very important to keep your strings very tight. And once you've done that, if you notice, I did a quarter turn. And now my red and white strings are underneath the black. So now I'm going to do my top right, which is white, and pull it down. And now I'm going to do my bottom left, which is also white, and put it up and pull my strings tight. And now I'm going to do a quarter turn again. And my top right string goes down. And then this bottom left string goes up. And as I said before, one of the problems you run into with the paper bobbins, my threads are stuck. There we go. And then pull it tight and quarter turn. And now you just continue doing this with the top right going down and the bottom left going up, pulling your strings tight and then doing a quarter turn. And as you continue to do this, you'll see that the braid will begin to appear on the underneath side. And you just continue doing your braid until the braid is the desired length that you would like for your bracelet or your necklace. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask and subscribe.